hello everyone welcome back to math explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this cubic exponential math problem which is 500 cube minus 300 cube so here i will try to solve this problem using two different methods so here we will use the first method first method Now in the first method we will rewrite this problem here. So the problem is 500 cube minus 300 cube. Now next here we will factorize these two numbers. So we can write this 500 as 100 times 5 which is 500 whole cube minus and we can write this 300 as 100 times 3 whole cube now here in both the terms of this equation this number we will use an exponential identity so here we will use this one exponential identity we can write a times b all raised to power n as a raised to power n times b raised to power n now using this exponential identity here the power will be applied on both the numbers in both the terms. So this number will become this will become 100 cube times 5 cube minus this will become 100 cube times 3 cube. So what we will do here? Here look into both the terms there is 100 cube common. So we will take out common from both the terms. This will become 100 cube. Here only 5 cube is left. Minus and here only 3 cube is left. Here in this table we will substitute the values of 3 cube, 5 cube and 100 cube. So let's substitute their values. So this will become the value of 3 cube is simply 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So the value of 3 cube is 27. Now the value of 5 cube is 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is about 125. Now what is the value of 100 cube? So therefore we can write 100 cube is here 1 cube is simply 1 and there are 2 zeros so we will write this 2 zeros 3 times because there is cube over these 2 zeros so we will write 0 3 times there will be 6 zeros so the value of 100 cube is 1 million then here we will substitute the value of 100 cube 5 cube 3 cube from here so this number will become is equal to this will become value of 100 cube is 1 million times the value of 5 cube is 125 minus the value of 3 cube is 27 here we will subtract these two numbers and then we multiply the result with 100 million so this will become 100 million times what is their subtraction here 125 minus 27 gives him about 98 we will multiply 98 with 1 million so it is very simple 98 times 1 is 98 and multiplying 98 with each zero gives him zero so there will be six zeros so the product of these two numbers gives him 98 million so finally 98 million is our answer n value of this beautiful and amazing cubic math problem and we will try to solve this problem using the second method so we will solve it using the second method here second method
So to solve this problem using the second method, we will write this problem here. Again, now the problem is 500 cube minus 300 cube. Now here in the second method, we will use cubic algebraic identity here. A cube minus B cube identity. So we will use this one identity here in this step. A cube minus B cube which is equal to A minus B times A square plus A times B plus B square. So here this is A which is 500 and this is B which is 300. So using this cubic identity here in this number, this number will become Is equal to a minus b you know a is 500 minus b is 300 times a square you know, a is 500 square plus a times b a is 500 times b is 300 plus b square b is 300 so this will become 300 square now we have to find out the value of each term here and then we multiply the result with this number so what is 500 minus 300 it is simply 200 times we have to find out this value so here 5 square is 25 and there are two zeros so these will become double so they will become 250,000 plus no 500 times 0 is 0 500 times 0 is 0 and 500 times 3 is 3 times 0 is 0 3 times 0 is 0 and 3 times 5 is 15 so this gives him 150,000 no 3 square is 9 and there are 2 zeros so this zero will become double so this will become 90,000 now here we will add these 3 numbers and then we will multiply the result with 200 so 200 times now let us add these numbers so 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 again 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 comma 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 no 9 plus 5 is 14 14 plus 5 is 19 so 9 won't be carried to the next digit 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 so here the addition of these three numbers gives him 490,000 we multiply 200 with this number so again it is very simple 200 times 0 is 0 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 and 200 times 49 is 49 times 0 is 0 49 times 0 is 0 and 49 times 2 is about 90 a so once again it gives him 98 million so finally 98 million is our answer using both the methods now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching